Hey, what's up everyone? Simeon Krosky back with another video and today is going to be a very recently suggested uh, video by Kaylee Moro 17 on Instagram. Um, what I'm going to start doing right now um, from now on with these videos is whoever suggests the video idea, um, whether it's from Instagram, Snapchat, or right here on the YouTube comments, um, I'll let you know if I add it to my, uh, my list. And I'll let you know when I'm going to post that video and then I'll give you a shout out at the beginning of the video. So um, if you want to make suggestions for future videos, follow me at Simeon underscore Karoski um, on Snapchat and Instagram or just comment down below and subscribe to the channel. So um, thank you again, Kaylee, for the suggestion of this video and I hope you all enjoy it. So to get things started, if you don't know what Firewatch is, it's basically when you're doing um, watch over your deck of your platoon in boot camp so um, typically it's typically it's going to be one hour long and it's going to be during your sleep cycle um, during boot camp so um, typically you want to avoid having like duty I mean not duty but fire watch at midnight um, because that's going to be right in the middle of your sleep schedule and it's really going to make you exhausted and tired so um, during this period of time you, there's like certain duties that are going to be tasked out um, sometimes you have to clean the restrooms which are called the head um, you're going to sweep there's going to be a bunch of different tasks that you have to accomplish while you're on duty and then also if like the co um, or a drill instructor comes on deck you have to uh, report your post if you don't know what that is um, just google it get more in detail so i don't have to go over it for too long but you're gonna have to report your post and then if you report your post incorrectly, um, they're gonna mess with you even more. So um, that's basically what Firewatch is and you definitely wanna try to avoid it so that you're not um, exhausted the whole time at boot camp, and that you actually get a good sleeping schedule. So um, there was a point of time where I avoided Firewatch for over a month. I never got on Firewatch for a month straight. And then, um, so I'm gonna give you uh, three tips and tricks that. I used and also I noticed other people using to avoid, avoid fire watch. So um, let's go ahead and get right into it. So the first one is going to be either become the scribe or become friends with the scribe. This is gonna be by far the most important one and you need to remember this before you go to boot camp. The scribe is going to be, it's like a billet. It's a billet during boot camp. Uh, the drill instructors are going to ask um, at the at the beginning of uh, whenever you meet your uh, drill instructors and you get your platoon all together, they're going to ask who has like good handwriting, um, who's good at keeping schedules and keeping things in order. And if I were you, I would volunteer for that. Sometimes it's like an annoying thing to do, but and to avoid fire watch, you wanna volunteer for this. The scribe is going to make the fire watch list for every sleep uh, cycle he is going to put whoever he wants on there or whoever the drill instructors pick. But typically when you're the scribe, you're not going to be on fire watch at all. You're gonna avoid it and you're gonna get lots of sleep. So if you don't get that job or that billet, you wanna be friends with that person and not make them angry because they can really screw you over and put you on that list a lot. At first when I was in boot camp, I don't know why, but the first guy that was the scribe, I don't, he didn't really like me or my rack mate. And for some reason, for the stupidest, the stupidest simple reasons, he would put me on fire watch like every single night. And same thing with my rack mate, he would put him on fire watch every single night. And then once he got fired and it switched to someone else, then I didn't have fire watch that often. So um, definitely make friends with him or become the scribe. And that's it for the first one. And the second one is going to be um, if you decide you're wanna, you're gonna just put out and go all in and try your hardest at boot camp at all times, um, go ahead and go for the guide position or a squad leader position. And typically, they're not going to have fire watch as often. Squad leaders still have fire watch, from what I remember, but the guide I never remember having fire watch. Let me know in the comment section if now um, you ever see the guide on fire watch that often, but. Usually I did not see the, the guide as fire watch. So if you want to put out become the guide and take those extra responsibilities You're probably not going to get fire watch and for the third and last one. It is going to be you got to blend in 
you gotta blend in. If you're not gonna go all out and try for those highest spots, you gotta blend in with everyone else and be that type of person that the drill instructors aren't attracted to and mess with all the time. Um, just do what you're told. Um, try to be quick with everything. As long as you're above average at every task, they're not gonna target you all the time. They're going to pick out those people that are kind of dumb and don't pay attention and can't follow simple tasks and rules. Um, those are the people that they're going to pick out constantly and throw on fire watch. Um, throughout boot camp, you'll find the drone instructors like if someone doesn't bring the proper gear to like a formation or something like that, or their uniforms messed up, they'll they'll point them out and they'll throw them on fire watch. So you don't want to be that person. You always want to be um, able to blend in and not mess up anything and just keep your uniforms tight, always have the right gear, always be wherever you need to be at the right time. Um, it was funny because my rack mate and one of my best friends, uh, Joseph Kim, <laughs> he did a lot of this stuff and he did it on purpose. He was just easy to target and he did it on purpose all the time. And it always made me mad because I was his rack mate and I would get messed up for it as well. And one of the funniest things he did was towards the end of boot camp, um, he he's like he asked one of my sergeants if they could give him his uh, his Snapchat, and then he got completely they got completely pissed off about that, and then <laughs> that that sergeant like put him on uh, firewatch for two hours like every night for the rest of boot camp. He was on firewatch all the time because he always like would goof off and ask those stupid questions, and that would always get him on firewatch. But he just did it intentionally messing with them all the time so um if you don't want firewatch don't do what he did don't try to have a target on your back and have them always after you so um those three things i hope they helped you and i hope you gather a lot of information from it so um just making this video short straight to the point um just so y'all can get as much information as possible without just prolonging it and dragging it out okay um, and then also a bonus part, and this is not going to be just specifically boot camp. This is going to be um, your overall Marine Corps career. So, um, and that's going to be whenever you're doing firewatch at the beginning of boot camp. You notice how it's just one hour, but it's kind of annoying and difficult, and you're always getting bothered the entire time. Throughout your Marine Corps career, it's going to transition to what's called duty, and um, I serve duty all the time. I have duty this week on well, as I'm filming this video I have duty this week so um, as it goes as progressively as you go through your career it's going to get longer but easier usually so um, you go from one hour at boot camp to going to MCT where you possibly sometimes do two hours and it's gonna be longer and then you think that's bad and then you go to MOS school and we started doing eight hour shifts and then I think the second MOS school I went to we started doing 12 hour shifts and then now that I'm in the fleet I'm doing 24 hour shifts for duty so um, it ends up you start getting treated better as you prolong through uh, progressively getting through but it becomes longer and longer and drags out more so um, that's just a little bonus information for y'all that y'all are wondering for whenever y'all join the Marine Corps. Um, thank you very much for uh, watching this video. If you want to follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, it's at Simeon underscore Karoski. Um, make sure you all subscribe to the channel. Uh, we're going to try to get to 15,000 subscribers. Um, and just tell whatever friends you know, any poolies or fellow junior Marines that, um, that you think would like the channel, just tell them about me. So, um, really hope y'all enjoyed the video and... I'll see y'all next time.